Hey Aries, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a message for all Aries, okay? So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as an Aries, then this reading is for you, okay? Aries, let's go ahead and get back into this reading. Let us see. Okay, okay excuse me we have courtship okay courtship so something about a relationship coming up in you guys is reading being highlighted here let us see where spirit is taking it let us see let us see okay we have expectation okay and for our aries one more card please okay we have message of concern okay <clears throat> with the underlying energy of concern okay so somebody is worried worry is being highlighted here courtship here expectation so we're expecting something from someone perhaps okay let us see Um, some of you could be expecting someone to visit, okay? This person is unable to attend or something. Okay, let us see. Okay, what is this? Yeah, so we're expecting someone, okay? We're expecting to see someone. They're supposed to be showing up soon or supposed to be arriving soon, okay? Let's see. Three of Wands. Seven of Swords here. Okay, message of concern. So I feel like this person is going to basically blow you off. Okay, this person is going to blow you off. But they're doing something else. I also feel this energy here where um, if you're married and that person is supposed to be taking you somewhere or you guys are supposed to be spending some exclusive one-on-one -on -one time with each other, they give you a reason as to why they can't go because they have to work. Okay, they're taking someone else. Okay, let us see. Okay, yeah, they're taking someone else. Okay, the moon card, the seven of swords. There's definitely some creeping going on here in this reading. Okay, let us see. Or someone was, was on a business trip. Okay, this business trip wasn't really a business trip. All right. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, you guys are, you know this. Okay. You're waiting to hear about this or you're waiting to get the truth or you're waiting for the truth to reveal itself with the moon card. Okay. Let us see. The Queen of Swords was as the underlining at the time. So it's like you guys are trying to. You know, head over heart, not not get too super emotional or not allow the situation to break you down. You just want to put all the pieces together so you can like approach the situation accordingly. I feel like you're going to be um, taking some time to yourself with the Hermit energy as the first outcome card. But, or like I said, it's touching this Seven of Swords. If a person goes ghost, it's because they're creeping or cheating or whatever they told you they, they were doing. They're not. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups here, definitely in a relationship with someone. Then we have the Everything is Fine card, which is the Double Ten of Swords energy. Okay, so definitely some cheating and betrayal going on. Okay, this person has a relationship somewhere else. Okay. And then we have the Two of Wands. Yeah, and the, and the Two of Cups. So they definitely have two people that they're entertaining. Okay, two relationships that they're involved in. Two romantic connections. Okay. So let us see. This three of wands for our Aries. I just heard something about credit card bills or... Um, debit account activity something like that so someone maybe you've seen something yeah you've seen something you don't want to believe it to a swords that your husband is doing with the emperor here again 
Okay, over this three of wands, seven of swords. I'm getting that you see the bill or you see something, some some documentation or something, okay? Um, I also just heard something about video footage. You see something, but then you 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 uh, send a message or a screenshot to your husband or to your spouse, to your partner. This person gets it and now like they're worried, okay? They're certainly worried here with this concern. So let us see, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords for our Aries. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Swords here. So we know that this person is definitely creeping and cheating. And possibly with the Earth sign person, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, I also just heard something about babies. So if this is not an Earth sign person, the person could be with child. Okay, the moon, let us see. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like there's definitely secrets here. Okay, this could be one of your friends, okay, that they're dealing with in this way. With this Queen of Pentacles energy, this could be one of your friends or one of your associates or something like that with the Five of Swords. All right, so let us see. Knight of Pentacles. Whew. Okay, we have the strength card. Yeah, so like I said, you're trying to handle the situation from a certain place, being strong, you know, graceful, not, you know, allowing your emotions to get the best of you here. Okay, you're just letting everything come together naturally with this Knight of Pentacles, letting it all fall into place, Two of Pentacles. Okay, let us see, Hermit card. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. So, like, this person, like I said, they told you they were doing something for work. But Ace of Cups, they really out here, you know, whining and dining with somebody else. Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, courtship. Okay, so they're out here whining and dining with somebody. Okay. So, let's see. Knight of Cups. Wow, this card tried to flip out. Yeah, so... Um, like I said, if not on a trip with this person, definitely taking this person out, doing things with this person. They spend a lot of time with them. They talk to them a lot with this Eight of Wands. They're really, really interested in this person. That's why I said they're in two separate uh, relationships, two separate committed relationships. Two of Wands, two of Cups. All right, let us see. Two of Wands here for our Aries. All right, we got the hanged man. Yeah, it's like there's, uh, you know, this person feels caught up in the situation. All right, but they're definitely going to have to choose. I feel like they're just going to continue to move this way with the chariot here. All right, so I feel like you're just waiting on things to come all together. But it looks like once once things come together in a certain way with Knight of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the chariot, you guys are going to then be single. You're going to decide to move forward. You're not going to deal with this. I don't blame you. Why would you? All right. So if this is your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.